Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and today I have come up with another problem which is really amazing. The problem is from Erodov. And uh, here, guys, this video is brought to you by Unacademy and Indian School of Physics together. And name of this problem is not a spherical drop. And my upcoming courses on uh, Unacademy will be INPHO Foundation and JE Advanced 2023. And it will be starting from uh, Feb first week. This will be early starting uh, uh, batch. The earlier you start, better it will be for Olympiad as well as uh, uh, JE Advance. So with that idea in mind, and it will be a unique course. And uh, trust me, this uh, there will not be any other course like this because uh, uh, as most of you know, uh, none of the coachings or anywhere you don't get uh, you know anywhere uh, olympiad oriented uh, uh, studies normally most of the olympiad aspirants they do preparation on their own so just i'm uh, you know putting my efforts along with the, you know some of my students who, who are uh, extra courageous and wanted to go for olympiads from the very beginning because preparing uh, for olympiad type of exam in one month and two months is uh, not possible and along with that for JE 2021 mains uh, there will be series of mock tests both on uh, free classes as well as on plus platform of an academy so do check them out and yes for uh, if you want to excel well in uh, advance then try to access my theory courses which are advanced plus plus levels and uh, it will definitely boost your JE preparation for sure and uh, for uh, unlocking any free course on an academy website you can use my code uh, Nathan sir or anywhere it is asking for some invite code you can use uh, the same code and guys trust me physics will never be the same again and uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com so here is the statement of uh, this problem a water dropper is at rest in air uh, the shape of drop is not completely spherical but has slight changes in it its radius of curvature at point A is R1 and the radius of curvature at point B is R2. The distance between point A and B is H. So this height is given as uh, H. Surface tension of drop is T. Then what will be the value of uh, R2 minus R1? This is what we have to find out here. So let's discuss the concept part here. The excess pressure inside a, in a drop is given by P inside and P outside difference. It is 2T by R if it is one liquid surface. And this is 4T by R if there are two liquid surfaces. Anyways, we are talking about a drop, liquid drop. So it is air liquid interface. So one interface is present. Uh, so we can see here if drop was completely spherical, then two times radius uh, would have been the value of h because total height is given as h and at this point uh, radius of curvature is r1 at this point radius of curvature is r2 so we are going to use uh, excess pressure formula here because uh, the outside pressure is same at a and b at both the places so at point a the pressure at a will be more because it is bulging like this so pressure at A is more, so PA minus P0 is equal to 2T by R1. Similarly here I can say PB minus P0 is 2T by R2, which is the radius of curvature here. So we can conclude definitely pressure at B is going to be more because gravity is acting downward. So pressure at B is more and if pressure at B is more, then from here we can comment on R1 and R2 that if uh, pressure at B is more then R2 will be less and pressure at A is uh, smaller then R1 will be larger in that case. So that shape will be somewhat like this if it is existing uh, in reality it will be somewhat similar to this. Anyways we are not interested in that part. So PA minus PB if you do uh, we are going to get rho g h. So from here PA minus PB values we can uh, substitute here. I am going to get 2T by R2 minus 2T by R1 is equal to rho GH. Similarly from here if I rearrange these terms I will be getting R1 minus R2 uh, that is e divided by R1 R2 is equal to rho GH by 2T. 
सो आर वन माइनस आर टू वैल्यू आई एम गोइंग टू गेट रो जी एच बाई टू टी टाइम्स आर वन आर टू ना दैट्स वेयर आई हैव टू यूज अप्रॉक्सीमेशन आई हैव टू एलिमिनेट दीज आर वन आर टूज सो इट इज इफ यू सी द लैंग्वेज ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ इट इज नॉट कंप्लीटली स्फेरिकल बट हैज स्लाइट चेंजेस सो अंडर दिस एजम्पन आई कैन टेक दिस एजम्पन हियर दैट आर वन इज नियरली आर एंड इवन आर टू इज नियरली आर If that is the case here, then R1 plus R2 roughly will be h, or I can say R1 R2 is roughly proportional to h square, or from here I can say it is nothing but h square by 4. Now this value of R1 R2 I am going to substitute in this equation here. So when I simplify this, I am going to get R1 minus R2 is equal to rho g h cube by 8 t. This is going to be the final answer for my problem. and uh, i hope guys you have enjoyed it depends uh, a lot on the assumption here uh, this is uh, from irodo but it's it's a very nice problem nice application of uh, surface tension concept so if you have enjoyed this solution please like the video share it with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming soon uh, i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thank you thanks for watching it